My name is Nathan Cropper. I am the Head of Business Development at Vionex. Vionex is it's a very interesting company. We do a lot of different products and services across the world of blockchain and AI. You may have known us as being the company that was behind Blot Dojo, and now we have also spawned a new incubator program uh, called the AI Forge. We're also a company which has created many community-based products supporting the BSV blockchain, from open NFT marketplaces, open source NFT marketplaces, uh, wallet system, and many other products which are currently being used by the community. It's been quite a successful conference for us as we've had many very good conversations with many different entities. In particular, we've had a lot of interest in the AI Forge, but they're also extremely interested in some of our other products as well, like uh, our legalizer tool, which is able to perform contract analysis, um, and even our wallet uh, services on, that are built on the blockchain. Uh, they're very interested in the auditability uh, that we can provide, any integrations that we can make into already established payment providers to build out our own financial market infrastructure and have that be spawned in the region. So it's been extremely successful and a lot of different ideas and, and, and dreams that we've all been having, they seem like they could be coming to head. Definitely the payments industry and I would now say gaming. <laughs> They, they probably didn't realize uh, that blockchain could play such a crucial role in the world of gaming. Um, but since we have the solution in Tegment being that we can open up the esports industry to every gamer, and by partnering with regional providers, payment uh, solutions and so on, we're actually able to reach markets that we wouldn't have been able to. There are a few, they're, they're, they're pretty obvious challenges, which I think everybody who's building on blockchain comes up against. Uh, immediately when you mention the word blockchain, they are assuming crypto. Compliance agencies don't like them. Banks don't like it. Regulators have a hard time. And for good reasons as well, unfortunately. And I know that there's some good work happening in the world of crypto to try and appease and to make things right and so on and build proper solutions. And, but we also have the same problems by simply mentioning the word blockchain. So we're really trying to take an approach at uh, demonstrating that the blockchain is simply just a technology and that the rules and regulations which are already in existence can also apply to this technology. We're not suggesting or asking or even waiting for new legislation to come when we can demonstrate now that we can build what it is that you need. A lot of the projects that we're working on right now are uh, AI based uh, mostly. We do still have a few uh, blockchain related products uh, still in the pipeline, uh, one of which will consist of building out a financial market infrastructure. This would mean that we would be able to provide a service equivalent to SWIFT, Visa or MasterCard or any of these already established infrastructure technologies of which payments can be conducted on top of. Um, and then by having that piece of infrastructure, we're able to integrate into any financial institution globally. Other products that we're working on are in the world of AI. We have an AI music generated streaming service, uh, which we will be launching or taking live soon. Um, so definitely keep a lookout for that one. We also have other different types of AI solutions, such as a HR project management type AI solution to really automate the uh, distribution of roles, responsibilities, uh, etc., all inside a business. Legalizer, the contract analyzer tool, and it's quite interesting because you know through conversations with business, we're, we're getting the requirements of what they actually want. How will they actually adopt that technology into their ecosystem of, of tech? And we're actually able to learn very quickly and make the changes or provide the conditions that they want and, and bring it to them. We are building our blockchain solutions on the BSV blockchain. The BSV blockchain has the characteristics that would enable us to build enterprise grade solutions. We need the high transaction throughput. We also need the level of immutability. Uh, we need the extremely low cost because as we're building out these solutions, we realize that we have to apply real world business models to them. Uh, maybe in the future we can start to come with more blockchain business models, 
associated with on-chain currency and movement. But our products and services right now, I think one of the reasons why they're being adopted is because we're actually looking at building in line with traditional business models. We are providing a service where advertisers can see customers directly for the consumers to earn. And so by providing these conditions, we're actually able to do business today rather than waiting for something tomorrow.